Hello everyone, I am back and here we are with, oops, sorry about that, with brush on sealers this time. Um, I like to use these for certain things like uh, glossing hooves and eyes and anytime you need a little touch up or, or something like that. Um, you can run a lot of these through the airbrush and use that as a sealer as well. Um, some of these I have not used on models but are really good for other things and whatnot, but you probably could use them on models too. So. I figured I'd show you um, what we have here. A lot of these seem to be very similar, even though they have different names and different, um, like, finishes. But a lot of them are very satiny. There's only, like, two here that have a really good gloss to them. Two or three. So we'll go through them and I will show you. This is our little control swatch here. It's just black primer on a piece of paper, which is pretty dull. Um, okay, so we will start. This is Polycrylic. You can find it at your hardware store. Um, I use this for a lot of things. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've sealed a model in it. Um, I may have. I'm not sure. Um, maybe a, uh, a little deco or something. I'm not, um, I don't think I have, actually. Um, but I like to use this also to seal my sculptures before I cast them. Um, gives it a nice finish and don't have to worry about any sort of contaminants uh, affecting the um, silicone and so it cures nicely uh, so usually I do that just to give it a, a nice overall coating um, that's the main thing I use this for um, and you know you can use it on you know sculpty sculptures and things like that you probably could even do a, a final layer with it so here is the swatch of it. Um, it's actually quite glossy. It's one of the glossier ones here. Um, it's got a nice gloss to it. And here's the control. Hopefully this, there we go. Trying to get it in the light. So there's the control over here and there is the finish of that. So it's a nice glossy finish. Um, let's see what else to say about this. I don't know. I really like it. Uh, I haven't really had any problems with it. You can't put it on too thick though. Um, if you do too thick then it won't dry properly and it'll be like a hazy color so you have to do uh, some thin layers with that so yeah good stuff but you know not a necessity so here we have Josonia all-purpose sealer which is actually kind of very similar to Mod Podge the way it works and the way I guess it kind of it's a little glossier than Mod Podge so it, it's it comes out white but it dries clear kind of like how Mod Podge does um, I like this for uh, sealing in hooves before, you know, for um, before I like finish up the model and gloss them and stuff because it's a good protective layer um, and it'll prevent a lot of rubs and stuff like that. It's kind of thick, so you have to be careful with that too. Um, it's got a really satiny, almost glossy look to it. There's the control, and then just uh, there's the glossy oh, let's try and get it in the light there it is this is the um, polycrylic the middle one here is the all-purpose sealer so a little less glossy but still kind of on the glossy side um, next is matte varnish same thing use it for hooves and stuff um, most of this that's all I really use it for uh, is hooves and, and glossing eyes and things like that um, Sometimes I'll use it to spray through the airbrush to kind of smooth something out. Like if my layer is looking a little, little rough, as like has some texture to it, I'll, I'll spray a layer of gloss or one of these on there, and then it'll give it a nice smooth finish so I can keep going and not have to worry about building up texture. Um, so this is another one. I rarely use this one. It's kind of thick, um, mat, um, matter than the, the all-purpose sealer, but still a, a satiny sheen to it. As you can see, there's a control. Still got a bit of satin to it, even though it says matte. Um, let's see. Uh, the Createx ones, I am not a huge fan of. The Createx in general, it's a different type of acrylic. I don't know what is in it. it it's it got an odd smell to it, too. Um, almost like my, me and my potting soil smell. But hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. Um, but it doesn't mix well with other brands. Like, it'll just separate. So, even with itself sometimes. 
So it's it's a give and take. Um, you gotta kind of use it by itself. Uh, I don't find them very sturdy either. I don't. I, it's just it's very odd. But again, um, just for finishing purposes, uh, I use them for the hooves and the eyes and things like that. Where it's not, you know, where they're already protected, but um, just need like to change the finish of something. Uh, so this is the gloss, which it's not too too glossy, but you can see where the brush strokes are kind of thick it's a lot glossier um, so probably two coats of this will get you a good gloss a decent gloss there see that's the createx gloss um, I'll put that with the polycrylic here you can see the polycrylic has still got more gloss to it with the one layer but if you can look at the I don't know if you could see that little double stroke there it's kinda glossy so probably two layers of that will get you a nice gloss a lot of people use this in um, what do you call those, uh, like die-cast car airbrushing type stuff, the Createx. So maybe it's better on metal, I don't know. But um, I'm not a huge fan of the Createx. Um, and this is the matte. Also kind of satiny and getting a little on the glossy side when you get the double layer there. They're matte. Actually, both are not that much different. I mean, the gloss one, this is the gloss, this is the matte. They're pretty similar. The glossy one is slightly glossier, but um, very similar. So I said a lot of these, there's not that distinctiveness, this, not that distinctive a difference between the glosses and the mattes here, except for the dull coat. Um, and let's see, so here, yeah, now that brings me to dull coat. This is brush on dull coat. Stinks to high heaven. Oh my goodness. Um, this is worse than the smell of the can. Like, it, ugh. Oh. Like, I have to hold my breath when I use it, even when I have a respirator on. It's just, wow. But, the great thing is, is that when you, say, forget to paint something on the horse, like, say, those little chestnuts on the legs that I always forget, and have to paint them at the last minute, usually after I take the photos, um, this is a great for a little touch-up. Because you mostly use dull coat for your last layer, so if you want to touch something up, it's hard to find something that matte and a brushable to just touch that area up and not have to spray the whole model again, um, potentially, you know, causing damage by dropping it or something. So, you know, less risk here. So it's great for that, great for little touch ups, and it's just as dull as dull coat. Not that far off even from the control. So, it's actually duller than the new dull coats that the new formula, which I'm saying new formula because I, I could swear it's a new formula. Um, but anyway, won't get into that. I got into that in the other video. Uh, here we have Tester's Airbrush um, Aztec. This is a gloss. Um, I like this. I like the way it, it flows and stuff like that. It's pretty glossy. Um, got a nice even gloss to it. Pretty glossy. Probably close to the poly. There. But the poly can get a lot glossier. Um, uh, the only thing I don't suggest using this for is a final layer. Oops. A final layer on light colors. Um, you can even see from the bottle it's got like a yellow tint to it. And that doesn't really go away. Um, I noticed when I had some on paper, uh, just because I was wiping my brush off and stuff, and after it dried, it was still yellowed. So it's not that it yellows, it's that it's like already yellow. Um, I don't know, unless I got a bad bottle, but um, it works just fine, and it glosses really nice. Um, but I would only use it on darker colors if you're going to use it for the final thing, like glossing a hoof or something like that. I wouldn't use it on like a light gray horse or a white horse, because you might turn your markings yellow. Like, they might look too yellow. I mean, I don't make my markings super white anyway, but this gives it a very, like, dirty yellow look. Which actually might even work, you know, because if you want to just take down the whites of your model. I don't know. I haven't tried it that way. But, that's for that. Um, Liquitex Gloss Varnish. This is the general go-to I use to gloss hooves and eyes. Um, it's got a decent, good gloss to it. Even gloss. Um, is also one of the glossier ones. Uh... Here, where is it? Come on, there it is. So it's got a really nice sheen to it. That's the polycrylic. 
So it's similar to the polyacrylic. And uh, let's see what the tester is. Test is a little bit duller than that. But this is a pretty good go to. Um, I feel like it's got a good sturdiness to it. I mean, this all purpose sealer, I feel, is like a better shell as of protection than this is. But I mean, this is still really good. Uh, and then we have Mod Podge. I love Mod Podge. Mod Podge has so many uses. Like, I, it's just like the greatest thing ever. You know, from anything from sealing things to glue to like fabric stiffener. It's just, it's like the greatest. Um, I don't think I've ever actually sealed a model in this, um, run it through the airbrush, but you probably could. I don't see why not. It's great stuff. Good protective layer. Um, and yeah, same thing. It's white, goes on white, but dries clear. Um, this has a pretty dull, see this I would consider an actual satin finish. I mean, it, this is the Mod Podge matte, um, but it still has a satiny sheen to it. Which is a nice satiny sheen. Like, a lot of times you see satin and it's actually, like, glossy. Like, this to me is actually satin. Um, let's see if we can... This is against the tester's gloss. And then let's see the other matte varnish. Here's the matte varnish. See, the matte varnish goes so glossy. And then the Createx matte. Closer. Still a little glossier, though. Like... The Mod Podge is a really nice satin finish. Um, and, you know, the only downside is a little thick, so you have to kind of work with it if you're brushing on things. Same thing. You can use that for, like, hoof protection and, and ear tips and stuff like that. Um, so those are the ones I mainly use for just poking things here and there. Um, like I said, normally, uh, well, normally I use the spray sealer for final sealings of models and stuff, but I don't see why you can't use any of these to seal in a model as well. Um, there's one I want to talk about that I absolutely hate. And it's like the worst thing in the world, but I wish it could be the best thing in the world. Is this triple thick brush on? They're not kidding when they say triple thick. This is like a monstrosity to work with. Like you can't brush this on. Like it's so thick and it's bleh, like, it's just, I'm not even going to open it to show you. It's just terrible. Um, but it's so glossy. I wish it would, I wish it was better. Um, and also you can't really get this. You can't really have water in this. I don't think you can really mix it and thin it because um, if you get moisture in the finish, it won't dry clear. At least that's a lot of the complaints that I've heard when people use it for their jewelry and stuff like that is that there was moisture, it was humid, and it's like hazy. So I'm afraid to actually mix this or, you know, dilute this with water or any sort of flow improver because I'm afraid it's not going to dry clear. I mean, I should probably try a test sometime. But, again, this is just, it's like Vaseline. Not even, like, it's thicker than, it's its just terrible. It's so hard. You know what? I'm going to open it. <laughs> Look, it's just gross. It's like hot glue. So, it's, you're going to get brush strokes like crazy. Um, but, you know, I really wish it was better to work with because its it dries so glossy. Like, it's super gloss, man. But, anyway... I wouldn't recommend this unless you want, you know, super frustration. Or if you can find a way to work with it, please let me know. Because I, I love the finish it gives. I just hate the way it works. So, I hope this helps explain some brush-on sealers to you that you can use for your detailing work or even sealing your models. Um, yeah, so give me a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.